did they just not how did they you probably didn't wait did you just not potty train your kids at what point do they learn to use an outhouse i think i'm having a crisis over this what did they do with their kids like seriously hi i'm em welcome back to my channel i have been away for a hot minute because depression but uh i'm trying to get back on track now it's been a minute since we've been able to check in with our decades challenge family the edward so we're going to get back to hopefully making it all the way from the 1890s up until our current decade at the rate that i'm going we're gonna be in a new decade by the time i get there i'm trying okay we're getting back on track <laughs> let's go check in with the family god i forgot how ridiculously beautiful the mom is are you freaking kidding me so just as a refresher we have florence edwards good old Flo, who seems to have a thing for her son-in-law, uh, who is Elias Edwards. I forget what his job is. We'll double check. And then we have Catherine Edwards, who I think is one of the most beautiful Sims I've ever made. It's ridiculous. And then they have Edward Edwards, which is probably my favorite thing that anyone in this community has ever suggested. Thank you so much for commenting last time to give me that name suggestion. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, let's have... Oh gosh, do we even have a mirror? We do we not have a mirror? We have to have a mirror somewhere. Oh my gosh, we don't own one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make the executive decision that we're going to buy ourselves a mirror just so we can uh change the toddler's appearance and we can always delete it right after. I think that should be fine just so long as we delete it right away. Because uh, do we have the money to spend on a mirror right now? Absolutely not. Drop the baby, Flo's getting some food, and Edward, we are going to change into hopefully some more period accurate clothes. Is this too small? Should we make me slightly bigger? Is that too much of me? That's kind of better. That's a little better. Okay, watch none of the custom content that I got for this child who have loaded in. Worst case scenario, we're going to kind of go with stuff like this, just because I think it might be the closest we're going to get. Okay, so at the very least, we know we have sleep clothes that are going to be at least somewhat kind of usable. Yeah, we'll do kind of like a cream color one and no shoesies. Sorry, sweet baby. I think we'll kind of go as accurate as possible but like you got to work with me here kid take off the accessories <laughs> give me give me something to work with and i think this might be the closest that we're gonna get i don't know why i downloaded a bunch of custom content for toddlers and maybe i'll have to double check maybe hold it up in a tab and didn't actually load into it but let's look and see i think that's fine honestly we're, we're trying to go as accurate as possible, but The Sims also on its own doesn't have a ton of toddlery period accurate stuff. So I'm not going to be too mad at myself if we don't find like the perfect outfits for this one out of many toddlers that I assume we're going to have. Get some more socks. Okay, sleepy time outfit, party outfit. Honestly, kid, I don't know how to tell you this. You're probably just going to have two outfits that you wear all the time swimwear you're probably gonna swim in your i'm so sorry you're probably gonna swim in your underwear you're not gonna be swimming much don't worry it's fine and then for hot weather i hate to tell you this kid i think you see where i'm going with this one but none of this is gonna look period accurate <laughs> So, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll change what type of overalls this kid wears. That'll be their, their little, that's their summer treat, okay? We'll do just some basic brown shoes. There we go. This is as close as we're gonna get. And finally, let's look at, I mean, maybe mix it up. Give him the same outfit he wears every other day. <laughs> we'll give him some boots. I don't know. Edward Edwards, you are ready to embark on a life of difficulty and, uh, constant struggle and 24 7 laundry so good luck to you my son my child let me double check i pulled up the rules because i wanted to make sure i knew it's been a hot minute since we played this for toddlers can they have is there any restrictions to things that we can have for toddlers like how do we potty train a toddler if we can't have indoor plumbing 
You know what I mean? But I don't see anything. I don't see anything saying we can't. Did they just not? How did they? You probably didn't. Wait, did you just not potty train your kids? At what point do they learn to use an outhouse? I think I'm having a crisis over this. What did they do with their kids? Like, seriously, I got a bear because I do think the only thing this kid would have access to would be like a little bear toy. Uh, they don't have money for much else, so. So we'll sell that and then let's get a bed for this toddler. We'll try our best to make it look as period accurate as possible, but I don't think we're gonna have much to work with. Ugh. See, at least this would be closer, although it seems way too fancy for this family, but of course that is for babies. So let's look and see if we can get something that at the very least doesn't stick out too much like a sore thumb, you know? Something super basic uh, that, oh my gosh, where can we fit this? We're only gonna be able to have one parent fitting into their bed at a time if we put this here, I think. I don't think they'll be able to walk past it, but we'll figure it out. Florence has now eaten. So I'm gonna send her over here to repair that toilet and then use it. Uh, and Edward is going to babble to the plants, which seems like a great idea, sweetheart. Good for you. I'm going to open, we're going to bring out, can the kid just eat an apple or cheese? Let's put some cheese on the floor for this kid. Pick up a serving of cheese. That's the only food we have for you. I'm so sorry. Can you eat it or no? Eat cheese, there we go. Okay, Edward is getting big angy. So we're gonna let him in his angy pants go stomp away. Let's check in on Elias. Elias does not work for another two days. He's having trouble getting promoted though because he can't file court documents, which like, I don't know what to tell you, man. They weren't available during the time that you were alive. He's gonna eat and we have poor Catherine just doing her millionth thing of laundry for the day. Florence has fixed stuff up like the champ she is. Everyone thank Florence. And let's get some, let's get some farming going on oh my goodness gracious holy moly we have a baby bunny we have a baby bunny that's more important than farming hi baby hi hi sweetheart socialize ask about rabbit life ask how rabbits travel underground these are things i've wondered my entire life let's weed I don't know if we can spray for bugs. What would they have done for that in 1890? Did we just let this kid poop his pants? I, I truly do not know. I think we're just supposed to let this kid poop himself constantly. If anybody knows otherwise, <laughs> feel free to let me know. Because I have no idea. Uh, we are going to teach to talk. And I guess we have to get her pregnant again as soon as possible. Because I feel like they do need to have more than one kid. In the rules, it says that you can have a small greenhouse. But you can't do like a giant farm. Veterinarians, archaeology, vacations, fitness. You can hire a butler or a maid, but not a nanny. You can't give your Sims medicine. Interesting. But there's nothing else, so I don't see anything about farming. I guess we'll just kind of use our best judgment here. Let's sell everything. I do need us to start working on a cow plant at this time. You know what? If the rabbit's gonna leave, just come back. We don't, unfortunately, we don't have time. Um, This little kid is big angy. So we are going to do give food from inventory. You have nothing. You have absolutely nothing. Why don't we do read toddler to sleep? And Florence just earned the family a little bit of money. Not a ton, but a little bit. Florence, why don't you continue by feeding the animals and cleaning out the coop? You can collect the eggs. Florence is basically handling all of the farming stuff. Dingus is looking very happy. I think Dingus needs a little bit more attention though. So we will have Flo spend a little bit more time with all of the animals. The animals are so cute. I love them. Elias, don't bother your wife. She needs to get some sleep. 
And why don't you instead go fishing and then gather water and we'll have Flo keep working with the animals. Edward is sleeping. Catherine is also getting some rest. And finally, Elias is fishing level two, which I think is gonna help us quite a bit. Let's look and see. The amount of laundry that this family goes through is one of the most absurd things I've ever seen. So let's look and see pristine but damp. So we will do, how's that laundry doing? Clean and dry. Okay, so we'll do unload and put laundry away. We'll bond with bees. Or you know what we'll do? Yeah, I think you can't be wearing the suit to bond with them. I could be wrong, but let's keep an eye on that fox. I don't like the look of that. Yeah, you need to get out of here, little man. Florence does a lot around the house. What a badass. <gasps> Shoe fuzzball away. Also, bless that rabbit for keeping everything safe. Oh my God, what an angel. Days until age up 15. Okay, wait, hold on. He is a young adult. I'm gonna Google average sim lifespan young adult. I need to be tracking the days because the days are how we measure time going by. So for a young adult, it's 24 days. So if we have 15 left, that means nine days have gone by. And let's double check. Every 20 days, the decade changes. Okay, every 20 in-game days, the decade changes. All right, so we're almost halfway there. Oh God. Hang in there, y'all. We're almost halfway there. Uh, Edward is getting some rest. Elias, gonna get some fishing done. And when Florence is done cooking, I'm gonna send her to hopefully try and bond with the animals a little bit because we really do need to. Oh, what are you doing? I meant for you to do that once you were done. Don't burn the house down. Flo, get back in here. Okay, we're not gonna let Kim Goldblum come over and hang out. Sorry, Kim. And once you're done, Florence, you are cooking for the whole family, so. Oh, it's German. Yes, oh my gosh, he absolutely likes fishing. Elias, I'm, s thank you. Thank you so much for enjoying fishing. Uh, I can tell there are fish right there. Sims, what are you talking about? There's so many fish. What do you mean he needs to go elsewhere? No. All right, if he keeps going and he still doesn't catch anything, maybe this is just like an animation that does not reflect how many fish are actually here. Okay, fishing level three. Elias can now use bait to catch bigger, better fish. Elias can examine the water near fishing spots to study fish movements and identify new fish. Elias can now catch fish using fish traps in ocean water. Interesting. Edward is still asleep and Florence, um, why don't you throw that away, honey? Why don't you come over here, clean out the spoiled food, add ice. Florence literally works all day long. Like Florence works way more than Elias does. Okay, ice is at 99% because she just did it. And there's not a whole lot in there. So let's have her actually cook and let's look and see, is there anything she can make? Not really. Uh, flour, sugar. We should send her down. Oh, we need to do off the grid. Okay, cook off the grid. There we go. Fish on a stick, foragers, <laughs> forager, foragers stew. So we'll do family size for that one. Oh, I didn't realize we had them woohoo already to, to have them. Uh, I guess we need to do everything off the grid. So we'll do take bath. Florence has learned the recipe for French toast and fish and chips. <gasps> Good for you, Flo. We're going to put this right here and wake up Edward so Edward can come grab a serving. He's being a cranky pants. And Flo is going to take a nap. You know what? Well deserved. Fuzzball, you seem very sweet, but please leave. We're gonna send Elias over. He's not normally the one who does all of this, but you know what? We're gonna have him spend some time with the chickadees. Okay, Catherine is taking a bath. Once she's done, we're gonna have her come and grab a serving of some food, and then we'll have her spend some time with Edward. 
who desperately needs some fun. So we might bring him over here to <laughs> Bok Bok to Jampers. That's so cute. Uh, why don't you come over here, socialize, ask the chicken about the future. I just want to make sure that these animals are very happy. Socialize, pet dingus. There you go. Socialize, play with jampers. Let's just spend a little bit of time together. That sounds like it's going well. Uh, why don't you get out of the bath, grab a serving, and then we will put the rest of the food in the ice box. And Elias, why don't you spend some time with your child? What a novel idea. We'll do tell story and then we'll do teach to talk. <laughs> Tinkus is so cute. I can't. I love them so much. Let's make sure Florence is doing okay with the bees. Honestly, she's not doing too bad. They're calm. I think we can collect some honey. Let's try and hope they don't get too mad. Okay. Remove the beekeeper suit. Careful. Careful. And then let's look and see. We're gonna have her throw that away. <gasps> look at her in her fancy <laughs> dress. She's so cute. I think that might be her hot weather outfit. I could be wrong, but I just know that we need snapdragons and I'm not sure. Oh, snapdragon, there we go. When is it in season? Fall and spring. Okay, so we have a while to go on that one because we need to start making a cow plant. So we also need a strawberry bush. Apparently, we are going to need a cow plant later in the game. Let's look and see, do we have any strawberries? They're probably out of season if we do. Oh shoot, I should check the ice box. We do not. So you know what? We should probably go into town. Uh, let's do that. I wonder if we can get a dollhouse. I feel like they would have a dollhouse back then, wouldn't they? Can we just have them walk somewhere? I know we can have them walk home, but I don't know if we can have them walk here, you know? And we will have Catherine go to the little Henford on Bagley town square. Elias is gonna continue to work on fishing. I think we should have Catherine start getting into that too though, because they, okay. They need some money. It is a problem. It is seven o'clock at night. So I came here way too late in the day. Cool, cool, cool. Sure, sure, sure. Are you really gonna have to walk all the way home? You probably are. Let's say hi to people, I guess. You should probably make some friends at some point for no good reason, other than I feel bad that I dragged you all the way down here for absolutely no reason. Hours of operation. Close at 7 p.m. We just missed it, okay. We're gonna tell her to go home then. Hello? Who are you? Nancy Landgrab. What is Nancy Landgrab doing here? Ah, I guess we can say hi, but like, what's going on? Uh, you, my dear, are very sad from not having fun, which like, I don't blame you. This seems like a really boring time to be a toddler. What did you even do back then? All right, his dad's on it though. Flo, my dear, my darling, why don't you come over here and go fishing? Luna. So right now we have Elias is working on getting Edward into a better mood. I don't quite know how we're going to build up his skills. Somebody please help me. What did they do back then? Did they have tiny little outhouses they taught toddlers how to use? Do I just let this kid shit his pants until he's a child? Like, what do I do? I don't know how this works. They are adorable though. They they really are cute together. Uh, Catherine is going to put the laundry away. Thank you. Look at this happy little family. I love them so much. 
Why don't you come clean the shed, refill the feed, and I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. I'm like 90% sure she's pregnant. Flo is fishing to get some more money. I'm gonna clean the coop and gather the eggs again, seeing as she seems to have a decent amount of... <laughs> A decent amount of energy. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, it seems less boring to live through this time when your family is as adorable as these are. Okay, so we have Catherine <laughs> complaining about taking out the trash. Girl, I know. I know. And you, my dear, I think once you're done putting Edward to bed, Edward who's about to poop his pants in his sleep, We'll have him go to bed as well. And then let's see, Flo, of course she does not have a job. I re should remember that. Uh, we'll have Catherine sell everything. I genuinely don't know. There's a lot of information, like a lot, a lot, a lot of information about this career. But even though it says you can make money by woodworking, painting, or gardening, it doesn't actually say if you need to like go and sell things in person. So I'm not sure what the protocol is there. I guess we'll need to try to sell those in person. Honestly, when they hit a thousand simoleons, I'm gonna celebrate for them because, oh my gosh, it was so hard to earn money back then apparently. My goodness, 620 simoleons, I'm pretty sure is the most that we've had in like the entirety of this challenge. Florence is getting a little tired and I don't want anyone to get too, well, I was gonna say, I don't want them to get too burnt out, but like, let's be real, they're probably already very burnt out. Um, everyone ignore me. You wake up and go use that bed instead. I'm gonna sell this one. Much better. Oh my gosh, we are so much closer. Catherine is so cute, finishing up reading her little book. Uh, why don't you come over here? Yeah, she's definitely pregnant. She has the throw up option. Baby number two, y'all. <laughs> we gotta get ready. Baby number two. All right, we need to remember to go pick up some strawberry seeds if we can find some or buy a strawberry. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, we're done with the world's least comfortable bath. Grab something to eat and then you go to bed. Catherine will be the only one awake. Look at her go. You make that money for the family, Catherine. Good for you. And you're giant dress <laughs> just laughing to herself about the water isn't that hilarious Catherine spots a hungry wolf eel just waiting to be caught all right unfortunately i don't think we have anything we can use as bait she was aware she was pregnant apparently i did not pay attention to that elias i think has yes work today okay i don't know if elias can get promoted without doing the daily task. I think so. I think it just helps them get promoted faster, but I guess we'll see. She's very tense from everything feeling a bit dirty. Okay, here's the thing. Everything is a bit dirty, Catherine. In your time, you didn't have vacuum cleaners and The Sims does not have an off the grid option for cleaning up dust. So you're just gonna have to deal with the house being a little bit dirty until you make it to a time period in or a time when we can hire a maid or a butler i think we can have a butler and a maid but not a nanny edward probably won't need to wake up for a while when he does we're just gonna have to give him a bath because i guess we're not gonna be able to potty train him i don't think i have ever not potty trained a child or a toddler i should say Uh, why don't we have you give Edward a bath? Elias is on his way to use the bathroom. Apparently he does not like the fact that there was a stinky diaper there. I saw that mood lit. Yeah, I saw you. Uh, and get some food flow without pooping your pants, if it's possible. 
Okay, that hygiene's going up, and then we will have him fed, and I think he'll be feeling a little bit better. You do not need to be the one interacting with him right now. Let's get rid of the dust bunnies. There we go. We'll do take to hamper. He is in a fun mood. Uh, clean out the spoiled food. And then let's do have breakfast. Make a nice little fruit salad. Cook off the grid. Wow, should we have fish on a stick or forager stew? The options are just limitless. Uh, come over here, use the toilet. Catherine, sweet pea, why don't you get some more sleep? Edward, I think just got fed. I don't know how. We'll figure that one out later. Uh, and then you play with your little toy. I think that's a period accurate toy that I downloaded. That way he had a way to build uh, imagination, I think. Edward is too busy being the cutest gosh darn toddler in the whole wide world. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Catherine getting some well-earned rest. And then we'll have Florence. I like having Elias chip in around the house because even though he's about to go to work, like it's nice to have him helping with other things. We're gonna wake up Catherine. Let's get some cleaning going on. How are you doing today, Catherine? <gasps> Super pregnant. I'm only a little bit obsessed with her. I love her so much. I think she's the cutest. And then we'll have her clean. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to use some el elbow grease on that one. And then you can take a bath right after because I know your hygiene is not the best right now. Flo, why don't you come over here and clean the toilet or the outhouse? The outhouse. And then in the meantime, let's get some food going for little Edward. You go eat that stew, bub bub. This challenge has just made me appreciate that I don't have to do this level of cleaning every single day of my life because, oh my God, every two seconds, every two seconds. Sinkus seems to be getting a lot happier. Same thing with the chickens. I feel like uh, Flo is doing a really good job of interacting with them. She does a really, really, really good job of taking care of everyone. And we'll have her sell all. I don't think we should spray for bugs. There was nothing about not doing it in the rules, but I'm gonna kind of make that judgment call because it just doesn't really make sense to me. And Edward, my dear, my darling, is there a toddler book that you can read? I don't think there is. Okay, we'll have you play with your toy again then. And then come over here and you're gonna socialize with some of the animals. Yeah, you're sad because your parents not here, you poor thing. Uh, Florence, once she's done with that, we will have her go fishing, as the family seems to do every day. Also, just putting it out there, even though we're saving up our money, I actually don't know what we're going to spend it on. Like, aside from bills, what do we do? I just, there's not much we can upgrade, you know what I mean? I don't really know. I guess we would make the house bigger. That's what we would do. <gasps> We're about to hit a thousand. We're about to hit a thousand. And then it's immediately all gonna go to bills. This is so relatable. Three. Yay! A thousand simoleons. And we're about to lose it all. Okay, honey, actually I was wrong. You go sleepy sleep. Or you know what? Let's have your mom read toddler to sleep. There we go. That way you spend some time together. There's some socialization happening. And let's get some, I feel like we need some more candles. It's just very dark all the time in this house. So let's do candles and miscellaneous lighting. I, are these really the only candles that we have? Candle, that can't be right, and table lamps. Candle <laughs> in off the grid lighting. Wow, okay. Um, interesting. Let's look and see what else they have off the grid. An outdoor grill. We definitely can't use like wind turbines and stuff like that. Volcanic barbecue searer. I don't know if we would be able to use that. I'm gonna guess not. I think maybe what we'll be able to do is expand the chicken coop 
And for fun, I think the only thing we're gonna be able to do is like maybe a bonfire, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really don't think they're gonna have much else that they can do. And I don't even know if we can do that, you know? That's a fish trap. I know we can have them do crafting and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we actually already have one of those. So let's do, we have an oil lamp. Oh, see, here's candles. I knew there were more candles. I guess they just don't have the word candle in them. Okay. But these are off the grid. They're candles, that counts. We're getting some lighting in this house, okay? There we go. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Can I put that up there? Yes. Let's see if there's a candle that just looks a little bit better. No? Okay. Let's put this one. Can you put it on top of the fridge? That would be awesome. We'll put that there. And then let's do... Can I fit that in here? No. If they had like a wall sconce candle, because I don't know if we could do a candle chandelier. Something about that does not click for me with the time period. I could be totally wrong. If you know a lot about the 1890s, let me know. Would we, I feel like they would have candles that you can put on the wall, right? If I'm wrong, correct me and I will take it down. But I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I'm pretty sure we can do that. So let's hang up a couple of these. And you know what? That's what we're spending our money on. And that feels like money well spent. Last thing, we'll do some candles. Oh, he put, that's where he put the food. Oh my God, dude, how did you reach up there? Uh, yes. Okay. So we're definitely going to need to get rid of this one or put it somewhere else. We'll have to delete that, but let's get We'll do a sconce up here. So that was a decent chunk of money spent, but doesn't the house look way better now? I will do, let's auto lights all candles. It won't make too much of a difference because the only room affected, like it's an open floor plan house. The only room affected is gonna be the bathroom, but I think that makes sense because they would only light the bathroom stuff once they go in there, you know what I mean? And Florence, how are you doing with the fish and boo boo? Florence also got six bottles of milk. Are you freaking kidding me? Flo is single-handedly keeping this family afloat. I don't know how she does it. Let's come over here real quick. And Flo, my darling, my dear, I'm gonna ask you to do laundry, wash and wash tub. There we go. And we're gonna have your wonderful daughter, Catherine, who's being very sweet. She wants to take the laundry to the hamper. You know what? I will actually let her do that. That's very thoughtful of you. Take the hamper. And then we'll swap them out. And Catherine, now that Edward is down for his little nap, we'll do examine water and go fishing. And then let's check in on what time Elias should be home. I think it's five. Yeah, five o'clock. And then Florence wanted to collect some honey. So we'll have her check in with the bees after this. The door. Oh. I feel like I could have a whole episode that's just nothing but a montage of laundry happening. Like, can you imagine the forearms on Florence? She's gotta be ripped. I don't know how old she is. I, tell me in the comments how old you think she is because I'm really bad at guessing ages. Um, she's gonna be more jacked than I am. Florence is getting seriously yoked. <laughs> Just doing nothing but this family's laundry all day, every day. Once you're done with that flow, which you almost are, Cleanliness used. Okay, unload the laundry and set down. I am 99, that's great, that's wonderful. It's been a great day for Flo. I'm 99.999% sure that the water was clean before we did 17 hours of that because there was no option to replace the water. So that's fun. Wash that laundry again in the wash tub. I'm sorry, Flo. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think I started building a pond over here and place a fishing allowed sign. Okay, we need to add a fishing sign over here. Fishing allowed sign. Let's see, I feel like maybe the pond isn't big enough. Okay, <laughs> that's not gonna work. It's just a cute pond for no reason then. It's just decorative. I'm gonna have her, I really don't know how often you need to clean the coop or scatter feed. Oh wait, hold on. Hunger, full, happiness, hygiene, okay. 
Dingus seems pretty happy. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Flo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We just have to check. Why is this still used? Cleanliness used. What? That's so gross. How? Do I seriously have to dry this laundry just to redo it? Replace water. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. No, not Sage. Not Sage. Is that Sage? Yep, didn't pay attention. You know what? Screw it. Sage. Make their clothes smell like sage. That sounds delicious to me. If it sounds good to me, maybe somebody else will like it. I think we should be able to apply a mite treatment. Bond with bees. I think they're, yeah, they're irritated. So I don't know how well this is going to go, but... About what I expected. Okay, Florence is having the worst day ever. I'm so sorry, Flo. Go to the bathroom. Come back inside. Take a tepid bath. Add some ice. Get some sleep. Catherine is eating some stew. Good for you, Catherine. And you know what? Her fun is actually really high. <gasps> Elias has been promoted. He will now make an additional five simoleons per hour for a grand total of 24 per hour. Check him out. He's also received the following bonus of 200 simoleons and he can chat about scandalous lawsuits. Oh my. Uh, as per always, change your outfit. Oh, you get to wear your own clothes to work now. Elias, how do you feel about your job? Yeah. What a mood.